Greetings, fellow Figoans, Foxians, doctors, OBGYNs of the world. I am Dr. Narin Malhotra, the past president of Foxy from India, a city called Agra. I am very honored today to be asked to express some of my views on this great campaign which is shedding light on a very, very vital part of our population. The 1.8 billion campaign for adolescent health. We have 1.8 billion adolescents in our world and through the partnership of PMCH and WHO, this campaign is not only action, it is a beacon of hope for the future of the youth. What we have to understand is that adolescent is a very pivotal stage of human development. And this is characterized by rapid physical, emotional, mental, psychological changes these young minds may have. So it is the mind which has goes thinking mind and action mind. And this is where these young individuals are setting their goal, life and trajectories to make decisions. Now sometimes these decisions will make a great impact on their health also. And we have to get them, educate them to the challenges they will face while making these decisions and to the barriers which will affect the healthcare and their approach to healthcare. The 1.8 billion campaign addresses and recognizes the 1.8 billion adolescents of the world and their voices should be heard. This campaign, we must do advocacy, we must educate, we must engage these adolescent young minds, we must have equity to them and we must collaborate with all the PMCH and WHO to collaborate with all possible NGOs to take this uh, tremendous, this great uh, initiative ahead. This campaign represents tremendous opportunity to transform the lives of the youngsters and hence change the whole future of a nation. A young nation, if it harnesses the energy which the youth and adolescent has, will go a long way and become a very, very developed and great country. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's all join hands and make our adolescents healthy, mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually, every way. All the best to this campaign, 1.8 billion adolescents, your health, their health is in our hands and we are responsible.